We're going to take a closer look at the lower respiratory tract and more specifically, at least in this video, the larynx. In general, the lower respiratory tract are composed of organs you find in the thorax in this area. Okay? The lower tract consists of the larynx, the trachea, the bronchial tree, and the lungs. The larynx is also known as the voice box. So you might have heard it called the voice box. So the technical term for the voice box is the larynx. It is found in the anterior portions, the front part of the neck, around cervical vertebrae three through six. It will connect the pharynx to the trachea. It is a junction between the throat and the windpipe. It will help direct air to the lungs and food to the esophagus. So it's a dividing area. It goes, okay, your food, you go down the food pipe, your air, you go down the air pipe. Taking a look at the parts of the larynx, we're going to take a look at nine cartilages that make up the larynx. The first three cartilages are going to be single. They're not paired. They are larger when you compare them with the bottom three, which are paired. Now you're going three and three is six, yes, but the top three are single, so one, two, three. The bottom three are paired, so one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So you got six on the bottom, three paired, and three singles that make up the top part. The top portion of the larynx is composed of the epiglottic cartilage, the thyroid cartilage, and the cricocartilage. The bottom three are the retinoid, the corniculate, and the cuneiform. The epiglottis is very important. The epiglottis is why you're alive right now and you didn't choke on your very first piece of food. What this is, is a piece of elastic cartilage that's going to be found in your throat, in the back of the throat, that's going to be kind of angled up like this. It's spoon-shaped and it's going to detect if there's food coming down or if there's air coming down. If there's food coming down, it's going to shut off the windpipe. It's going to close off the trachea. It's not going to let the food go down the air pipe. Instead, what it's going to do is it's going to force the food to go down the esophagus. That is the tube that goes into your stomach. If you're breathing, it opens up and it allows the passage of air up and down through the trachea into your lungs and out of your mouth and nose. The thyroid cartilage is the largest of the cartilages in the larynx. You have two flat-like portions, lamina, that are fused together on the anterior side. It almost looks like a medieval shield. It protects the vocal folds and is an attachment point from some laryngeal muscles. You have in males something called a laryngeal prominence, otherwise known as an Adam's apple. This occurs because of testosterone. In males, we produce more testosterone, and so the Adam's apple, the laryngeal prominence, is formed. It's a prominent portion of the thyroid cartilage. The cricoid cartilage, when you hear this, I want you to think of a class ring. A class ring typically has a very wide front part and a thinner back part. And it looks just like a class ring in its shape, except it's backwards. So the big part is facing back while the smaller part is facing anterior. So big part posterior, little part anterior. It is the only cartilage in the larynx to form a complete ring. When you hear that stuff like that, the only one, those make good test questions. So pay attention to that one. So cricoid cartilage, it looks like a class ring. The posterior part is wider and bigger. The anterior part is thinner and smaller. It's the only cartilage in the larynx to form a complete ring. It connects the larynx to the trachea. So taking a look at the inside of the larynx, you can see in this picture the thyroid cartilage, the vocal fold, the arytenoid cartilage, the cuniculate cartilage, as well as cricoid cartilage. In our next video, we're going to go into the trachea and the bronchi.